What's up guys, Pirata here again, uh, after a long time, but we were working right. Uh, this time I'm coming here to talk with you uh, in a quick video, so to explain how I incorporated this little guy here, CC1101, to use with Carpenter. Uh, the first time we saw CC1101 working on a... Um, M5 devices, uh, it was using the IO433, right? And it was made for the M5 stick C2. And after that, C1. And after that, we got uh, a <clears throat> statue, got a, a nice approach, bringing it with a beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Uh, UX right with the cat hack uh, but now we are bringing it to Bruce right and this version of Bruce it wasn't it isn't released yet it wasn't released yet and uh, it will be 1.4 and to use CC1101 with uh, Carputer we will need this little guy here this is uh, SD card sniffer okay what does it do? It uh, brings out the pins from the SD card. Uh, we can have like six pins, six usable pins. VCC, 3.3 VCC, GND, uh, ground, uh, chip select, Meso, Mosey, uh, Clock, and this is it. But to use with CC1101, we need uh, at least one, at least two more pins from the SD card, and these pins we are we are getting it from the Groove port, right? That are chip select for the CC1101 and GD00. That is the guy that will actually send the codes to uh, the card computer or to whatever device you're using. This is the guy who, who sends the thing. Uh, so I made all the connections here. I'll send connections on the GitHub in the next week because we're still working on that and I needed to make a lot of changes in the library but I wanted to show you here in first hand how I did it right, and here I must thank to I must thank uh, EED Master who pushed us into this pro this CC1101 project. We are uh, holding it and waiting <laughs> uh, to do that, but he he brought the code and he integrated a lot of things, made it work in a headless uh, device, which will be with where we will be able to use uh, other ships right such as this little guy here let me show you one of the ideas this is uh, ASP S3.0 uh, this is one guy that maybe we can use it's a very small device and we can uh, integrate with other things but this is just an idea. Uh, his port was made to the bigger one and uh, it's working, right? But it receives commands from serial, serial commands. So it needs to be plugged into the computer and you'll be sending commands from there. Uh, but let's go, let's see what it does, right? I won't show it, I won't show you it opening the gate, but at least we can see it receiving signals. Uh, here we have spectrum, but to work we need to configurations uh, or F module and select here to C1101 on SPI, right? It's already done. Uh, and now we'll go to spectrum. Let's see if we receive anything here. This is the guy receiving signals, right? Uh, is it usable? Let's see. 
we can come here scan copy and it's waiting for signals right so after receiving we can replay the signal and by replaying it will send again and then here we can choose save signal and when it saves uh, it will show you here that it will be saved somewhere let's see oh error saving <laughs> this is so nice let's go save signal Oh, I love when it happens. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take the 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 SD card out. Let's try again. Scan. Save signal. Well, there's something we need work with that. But when signals are saved it will be uh, here in the SD card if, it, if it's there or little fs uh, Bruce or F and here is the signals it will the place where it will save okay from here we can uh, send the codes and so it just send the code and the same for the SD card, so just put it in here. SD card, read Bruce or radio frequency and the files we have here. So, sending it's really quick. And this is it, guys. Thank you for your attention. And maybe uh, I can turn you off now. Let's see. <laughs> Infrared, the baby gone. Uh, here it is. Bye.